Breaking news this morning out of Pennsylvania. The Washington State University grad accused of murdering four Idaho college students is officially on his way to our region. The news coming in just minutes ago, and we do have it confirmed now that Brian Koberger is no longer at the Monroe County Correctional Facility. Our Jennifer Dowling live at Moscow this morning. And Jennifer, this situation is changing quickly. It is, and we're just learning that uh, he is likely on his way here to the facilities in Moscow, Idaho, and administrative uh, officials confirming that he is no longer at the Monroe County Correctional Facility in Pennsylvania. So we don't know exactly how he's being transported out here at this time. We don't know if it's going to be uh, via vehicle or uh, by plane or if it's going to be uh, some kind of a deal or situation worked out with the state police. They've been extremely quiet about that, uh, telling us yesterday that they had to work through some logistics. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see uh, what's going on here. Uh, we have an empty lot behind me. There's a lot of uh, reporters here right now uh, just kind of watching this area, uh, waiting for uh, Brian to arrive. If he does indeed arrive here at this facility, he may go somewhere else. Again, we haven't gotten a lot of details about exactly how he's going to be transported or the logistics of that. And yesterday, of course, uh, Brian Koberger making his first appearance in Monroe County in Pennsylvania. Uh, not a lot said during that time. Uh, during that court hearing, but uh, it was an emotional day for his family. So we're going to keep an eye on the situation out here. He waived his extradition hearing, and he should be arriving in Idaho um, at least within the next 10 days. So unclear exactly uh, where he'll stop first, uh, but maybe, maybe he'll be here at some point today. We'll definitely keep an eye on it. Back to you in the studio.